Hey everyone, welcome to Homes for Beginners where I show you how to do repairs around the house yourself. In this video here I'll be showing you how to make a gypsy moth trap using a juice bottle. We're having an extreme infestation with the gypsy moths and caterpillars this past year. Unfortunately the municipality we live in hasn't done much to tackle the problem for property owners who are experiencing this. So we're having to resort to our own methods. You may be asking yourself what problems can these insects cause? There is typically a small amount each year which doesn't have a large impact. In extremely large amounts, like what we've experienced, when in the caterpillar stage, they will eat all the leaves and needles off the trees, defoliating the trees. This not only looks bad, but also affects the health, possibly killing off the trees. Beyond that, it also removes food sources and habitats for other animals and insects. From our experience, complete tree defoliation can just happen in under a couple weeks. I will have a video for tackling the caterpillars and eggs in the future, so be sure to keep an eye out for that. Removing the moth stage will help cut back on fertilization of eggs, reducing the potential amount of caterpillars in the next year. While traps are available, some are not reusable, can be more expensive, and in our case, all suppliers were sold out. Using a juice bottle with the label removed, this had been washed out and has just under a 2 liter capacity. A small bottle can also be used, you'll just need to empty it more often. Next you'll also need a heavy string, a drill, and a razor knife. Cut one hole on each vertical side of the bottle, so four in total. These would be cut in a slot style, enough where the moth can fit inside. The height would be three quarters of an inch or two centimeters. The width of these holes would be about two inches or five centimeters. These need to be on the upper half of the bottle, about three quarters of the way up and roughly in the same line. This doesn't need to be exact. When done, here you can see the slots. Next is using a sixteenth of an inch drill bit to make the vent holes in the top. This will help attract the moths so they can smell the pheromone and prevent any condensation from forming. There's about 15 holes in the top. Again, the number isn't critical and this will also vary depending on the size of bottle used. Just make sure you're not jeopardizing the structural integrity of the bottle. As a final modification for the bottle is making a hole in the lid. The hole size will be based on the string you're using. Make sure it's strong enough to hold the weight of the bottle with a small amount of water in the bottom along with being able to withstand any windy conditions. Now I've already went ahead and made my string. One side has a stopper knot so it doesn't pull through the lid and the other side has a loop where I can fit the lid through. A small amount of soap has been added to the bottom. This will help reduce the water's surface tension so the moth becomes trapped easier. I'd highly recommend wearing gloves for the next step. Here I have the female gypsy moth pheromone, so you'll be attracting male moths in the trap. Male moths are the ones that can fly, the females do not. If the pheromone gets on your skin, the male moths will follow you around. The pheromone is just a small strip and can be taped onto the string. This pheromone will need to be replaced yearly. Try to keep as much of the strip exposed as possible, but so it's also secured into place where it doesn't fall into the water. Once filled up with water and hanging, here it is. There is no more than 2 inches or 5 centimeters of water in the bottom. This will need to be changed whenever it becomes excessively full with moths. The versions on the market are a solid color, so some moths can see the light and escape. This makes it difficult for the moths to see where the entrance holes are, so it's not as selective. The next day, less than 24 hours later, and after the highest concentration of moths, as you can see, it's filled right up. We're about a week past their peak period. Do not get the pheromone strip wet after cleaning out the bottle. Just unscrew the lid, wash out the bottle, and then add more of a soap and water mixture. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to give it a like and drop a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more home DIY videos. Thank you for watching.